Hi guys, welcome to Navreen Reviews, aka The Reviews. Anyways, if you guys have not seen my very, very bashed and mixed up unboxing of Michael Core Access Sophie watch, then I recommend you watch that and then you continue with this video. So as for the people who have seen the video, the first thing I need to tell you guys is that I've had it resize, fit it to my wrist, the first bit is that no the battery is not amazing but not bad either and i'll tell you why because i've got it on always on as you can just see it always shows me the time which does drain the battery i've got it on full brightness i've got location services on and the apps running in the background it's just like any other mobile phone where it depends what all you have it has a battery saving mode where you can turn these things off so in a jiffy it's okay keep a spare charger even being like a very pretty accessory sort of a watch is the function for me i mean the first day i charged it it was really warm literally for like a second or two i couldn't even properly hold it but then did a full charge updated and everything and then it's been fine so i think it's more to do with the fact that you have to get used to that you're wearing the battery on your wrist the charger itself the quality is not that good the magnet is not good at all. So first of all, these watches, they come with a standard memory of 4 GB, which is, I think, pretty decent. So these are Android Wear watches, and they're compatible with Apple devices. So if you do own an Apple like me, it's not as complicated as everybody's made it to be. They work just fine. Yes, it's beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice. It looks very big, and it's not that heavy. I mean, I know this looks really bling, but to be honest, this watch is quite subtle and is actually not that big. Honestly, because I hate big watches, so if it was that super big, I wouldn't wear it. First, I've been told that they are water resistant. Secondly, that's my wallpaper, whatever you want to call it. You go up. This is your button to turn the watch off. You press there. There. So I saved my battery and I thought it was something worth mentioning. Should we try it? So that's the do not disturb mode enable. That's obviously the plain mode. Now this is the settings. So you go into settings, display, adjust brightness. I've got an automatic. This is how you come out. And this is the thing I've got the always on. Then you can have a touch lock as well. Touch lock enable. It's just like a small watch. It's even got a hand there. There. Don't, don't touch it. I won't go to the watch face right now. We'll do that later. Then these are your apps and notification. You can have info about all the apps you have. Look, it's loading my apps. So all the apps that I have. Here. And as you can see this. You can have all disabled, all. So everything is like pretty easy once you get into it. Uh, so I have actually given permission to Uber and you know maps and things like that. You can see, you got notification previews, you want to get normal, you want to set. So I mean, these, these are things that you can check yourself. Disturb for your event, reminder, alarms, which makes a lot of sense. Okay. Then vibrating pattern. You got long, normal, double. I haven't even checked these things. Your gestures so you've got tilt to wake which i already have on i've got touch to wake i've got wrist gesture let me try this oh no notifications but did you see that so normally when you flick it it gives you a notification and no my strap did not come on i think just let's leave it yes, it's on your bluetooth wi-fi airplane mode location for phone i've got it on so these are the things that it actually does eat away at your battery but i've still got it on so where people need accessibility they can actually make the phone go bigger then you go personalization you can have a screen lock off you can have your input method then that's my accounts i'm not going to open that so you can only have google accounts but it does give you the option of adding other accounts that's where the help section comes in the android wear watch app i'm talking about and that system is so good like any question you put in there it gives you an answer here are a few screenshots smart reply 
then it's got the OK Google detection, so, which brings me to my bit. There's the mic. But this watch doesn't have no speakers. You can't really speak to anybody. So if you say that to the watch, you don't have to really come near like James Bond. It does reply. Like it writes the answer. Okay? So I'm going to try and... OK Google. You see that? And then you have to press the button. That's the difference. Also, look, it's actually picking up what I'm saying. So give me the time. So this is whatever is found. And then I can make the settings to do my preference. It's like really cool. Hey, listen, this is your device uh, manager system and things. You know, this is like stunned. So you've even got these options and I haven't explored them. So there is your personalized option. And that's your storage. So it tells you data size, what all your apps you have. These are all the apps that I just literally have on my watch. Then that's your system. So your battery saver, this is the one I wanted to show you, look. So if you turn the battery saver on. The vibration, location service, Wi-Fi, mobile data, SMS, update, blah, 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 blah. Do you understand? This all gets affected. When I'm out, if I don't have my charger, then I might use it. So guys, this is the watch on the battery saving mode. As you can see, uh, the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something is off and there's a red battery on there. And the display basically goes black. So pretty much everything is off. And that's how it looks. But like I explained, I left a little bit of gap in my wrist for this exact reason. As you can see, there's a gap here. It's not exactly fitted. Because when I'm in the car, I've got enough space to slip the charger underneath. Then it's date and time, reset, turn off, disconnect, reset. And uh, the quality and the touch, you can see the clarity, the display. It's like amazing, man. Look at my picture. I mean, I love it. Okay. So if you press the button, you come into all the apps. And, so there you go. First, I'm going to go down and explain this to you. But just to show you, if you press it like this, look, it's just gone up. So anything that you press star on, this goes on the top. So whatever apps you feel are important enough. You can, let, let me show you this one, look. Look, it's gone to top. Again, it'll basically go back. But how it works is, whatever you use the most recently, look, it says recent, that kind of goes up as well. So they eventually keep coming down, but it's not like... Or Apple Watch where you can literally use and jumble them up and all. But it works for me. Now, I want to show you the torch. That's the torch. It's nothing major, but it's cool. At least it's an option when you want to look for something. I mean, cancel it like this. I mean, this watch suits me so much. Since I've had it, I get my WhatsApp alerts, no delay. Facebook, Insta, Snapchat, I miss calls, normal text messages, uh, emails, alarms. What is left there? A person like me, my phones are always on silent. I just like it in my bag. And then I miss so many calls or messages. And that's the beauty of this watch. I get every single notification. I mean, I can even answer a phone here and then, you know, and say, hold on, or I can read full text messages. So it's not even like it's just one line. It tells you everything. So I'm going to try and see if I can go into my notifications. There. So, look, you don't have a car. Is that please? Okay. Okay, that's my bestie. So, you understand? I don't want you to read like my personal messages. I'm trying to keep a hand, but just to tell you, like, like all the messages. Like, this is what I wanted to tell you. Look, when my front door was open, Hive gave me an uh, alert for the clearing. I can clear them all. Then here is your normal Play Store. So if you already have a Google account, which I do. And uh, I have my card payments and everything. So it's one account which is linked with everything. So I didn't have to really do anything. Even though it is limited on an iPhone, you'll be surprised the amount of options I have on this. I don't even understand what I'm missing. One more thing I need to show you guys. So this is one of these apps you want to download. It's called The Mail. That's how I have all my email from my normal email address. Because I have a Hotmail account. I can compose, write, modulate. So it comes into this, but the notifications are on. Which it had that LTE, like if they had a speaker, but that's the way. It does have Google Fit. It doesn't have a heart rate monitor. That's not what I bought it for. I wanted a fashion, accessory, jewelry, sort of a modern, multifunction watch. Which gave me best of both worlds time, functionality. But this is what I want to show you. Hold on. Where is it? This. Michael Coraxis. Where did anyone tell you? This, this is lovely. So my next is like for the time you have some plane flight, which I do. So I can even talk. Look, right words. So can you see that? So, so you can change it if you wanted to. 
as this is something that I still haven't figured out but for now I'm just gonna go back so no do a trip look but this same thing party concert anniversaries custom events you can make your own look it's amazing I normally this is how you go back that's my next this is my social so look you got your insta you got your facebook and i've already signed in through the app which is pretty easy it just takes you through all the steps and look all my pictures are here this is my morning picture the other one that you saw as my night picture then you got your insta but look that's my insta picture then you have my looks you can change your looks yourself from my social I've got these two looks here already like I was telling you just to, you know my mode look so you have a morning no, night then app store I really want to show you the sorry the play store so look recommended feature blah 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 okay, that's it. yeah some games as well I mean this is endless I mean if you're not impressed by now then there's something wrong with you seriously okay this is what I need to tell you seriously before I open it you go on contacts which is with an s dot google dot com you open the site up it gives you an option to import your contacts from an iphone or whatever phone it'll. so if you can't handle those steps or understand those steps then you don't need a smartwatch or a smartphone so it takes a while it'll import immediately but they won't show here but then i opened it can you see i'm still in a so we have to go all the way till z so literally all my contacts are here and then bring it home you can actually do your shopping list. So I've already got eight items here. And I can just send the list to my mom. Whoever. And this, this is the one I was talking about. The bus time. And it gives me the option of my favorite ones. Nearest, recent and all of that. So this is really good app. Calculator, calendar, documents, find a park car. And yes, I was going to get to the Fitbit and workout. This is on the app as well. Open it up. It asks you for your height, your weight, and all your details, and then it sets your counter. Okay. So look, I've got my goal. Look, I work for how many days, how much calorie it wants me to burn, my steps, my workout, settings. Like there's so much to do, and this is with an iPhone. So imagine like people who are on Android, they're like enjoying next level stuff. So see, look, you can have strength training. You can add these things like I could go on and on and on. I've got flight trackers, I've got healthy recipes, and I've got key Bible so I can have my own notes. Notes are syncing with your calendar, it allows you to use your Apple Calendar or your Google Calendar. So, I then maps. Oh, you can do plus minus. So, the maps do work, my location does work, and look, yep. It's connected with my card and it actually works. Oh, actually, that's another thing I want to tell you. This bit, do you see that? It's basically when it opens your daily sign up agenda sort of a thing, but you can change this bit. So you can have it empty. If you don't want the date, you can have the weather, you can have an agenda, you can have the flight, calendar, clock, fit. So that's if you want your steps. But this is all you can literally put on your watch. And if you choose different faces, some faces actually allow you to put more things. Google Translate. And so, whatever you want to say in English. Hello. Hola. So, at least you have that option. Not that I can. I tried German. I couldn't even read it back. I was like, shang, walang. You go music play. It's just trying to connect. I think we've pretty much gone through all of them. You can even get screen protectors. Give you an Amazon for these. Anyways, I'm just going to play some music. I can pause it from there. And pause it from here. It's all over my... So, you press this button. And this comes up. I can just have this in the background. And now I'm just going to show you the last bit. So I can have the phone in the middle just to show you. This is how it looks like. Look, it says Sophie connected has the picture. Google Fit. And a Google Assist. Look at your calendar and it does allow you to use the Apple one. Settings, so you can do a few things from here. You can count on your watches, you can disconnect your watch. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you press the like button, share it, subscribe and enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.